Okay, Mike's going to show us some of the new Gretsch stuff. Where should we start? Let's start over here with Marquee Series, our brand new, our brand new line. Um, based on the uh, based on the concept of the of the Renown kits that we did, the biggest. So we're still looking at a, an all maple Gretsch formula shell, um, seven ply. I think it was seven ply uh, maple shells. The difference is with this one though. We went with this one moves with a triple flange hoop uh, to open the sound up a little bit more uh, and not quite as focused. And so they have a they have a great attack, but they have a, a really nice spread underneath the uh, underneath them. Uh, unique finishes, all of them that's proprietary proprietary to this line. Uh, inside the shells, we did it. We were staining the maples. So we've done a just a, a cosmetic thing with that. Okay. Round badge, Remo USA heads around it. Um, the new tom mounts we designed. That we 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 introduced on Renown last year, uh, isolates the Tom great, allows float, but does doesn't it doesn't flop. Yeah, um, it's gonna sit in stores, I believe, at thirteen ninety nine. For for this configuration yes. right here, yes, with for a snare with a snare drum. That's great. The eight inch Tom is a is a is a free. We're still doing the free add on eight inch Tom, so you get the whole kit. Yeah, and it was it was designed to, to meet a price point. So we're looking at Catalina Ash. Can you uh, walk us through this? Yeah, this was a this was a return to a line that really that did well for us. Um, we had we played we had Catalina Astrums for a lot of years, and um, at a store level, I always found it was interesting because you had two uh, you had two really uh, two kind of opposite groups. There were the uh, there were the death metal guys that loved them, and there were the gospel guys that loved them, which was kind of an interesting mix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's because of the attack of the shell. And guys who who play those styles, they they want a lot of stick definition. It's not about a big round tone. It's about the articulation and how you know because they're playing so many notes and the speed of it and that sort of thing. And these drums really lend themselves to that. Um, it's gonna we're gonna start off with they're gonna come in a 10, 12, 16, 18 by 22 configuration with a snare. It's gonna it's gonna map out at 6.99. Um, the finishes are are dynamite. We've got it's, it's a text it's a textured finish, which is not the newest thing in the world, but it's not. The grain on these is not as deep, so it's it's a it's a smoother overall finish. I'll show you. There's other colors over there on the on the tom rack that I'll show okay. you about. It really is attractive, though. I mean, the the figuring comes out even though, like you say, it's not deep. It really is pulled out to the uh, to the surface finish. Well, ashes ashes always lent itself because of the grain pattern. It's got that the big wavy grains yeah. to it, and yeah. it's just it's a it's a really cool looking kit. I was really happy to see this one come back. I was bummed when the original original line went away, yeah. but we've got it. We, you know, and with these, we're also debuting the new to, new center tom mounts. We've gotten away from the the vertical wall of tom mount that we yeah. it's, it's traditional. So just a, a, a sleeker look, threaded out for a uh, for a three quarter inch simple post in the middle. Again, with the T handles based off the tuning keys. Okay, the the mounting system on this is based off the same mounting system that we're gonna that we used on Marquee and Renown. Um, but we don't mount it from the bottom. It's just on the top. So it's, but it's very sleek. It stays out of the grain of the, of the, the visibility of the drum kit. You can see the drum and not the hardware. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a fantastic sounding kit. This has been this has been, this has been a, a great reviewed kit for this show. And the map is 6.99. That's that's really pretty incredible. So it's yeah. So it's open for a lot of it's a, a wide base of customer to get into that kit. So Mike, we're looking at the new redesigned Energy. What are some of the upgrades on this? Lots of them, actually, Andy. We uh, we upgraded all the hardware on it all the way around. Um, you know, at, at these, especially at these price points, it, the hardware is often the, uh, the, the the determining factor. It's what takes certainly what takes the most abuse. So what we've done is we brought some of the classic Gretsch amenities onto this kit now. So we've taken our classic Tom mount, our double Tom mount that we, we all know and love. So it comes with that. We've outfitted it with Remo heads all the way around. The uh, the classic Gretsch Tom mounts. Um, center tom post. When the kit last year we did, we were just doing virgin bass drums, but now we've gone to a center tom mount. Um, still at 6.99 for everything: drums, hardware, cymbals, Sabian, wow. Sabian SBR cymbals. Um, and incredible. even even out of the box, they sound. They, it's a really good sounding kit. And it's for you know, it's we wanted to encourage the cradle to grave mentality. So you start with this, and you move up through the line and up, up to the reissued USA stuff. So what what are the shells on here? These are Poplar shells. Okay. It's a Poplar shell, but it has the Gretsch 30 degree edge, so which is which is th th consistent throughout all the lines, and even at this at, at this price point, you can tell you know when you're looking at the because there are other kits of that sonically these are a step above because of that because of that edge. It pulls out a little more low end. Yeah, this has got a little more fluff to it. Yeah, you know they're not as hard. 
Um, they, they still with a five lug pattern, it, it's a softer feeling drum because there's not as much tension in the center of the drum. Uh, so it's a it's an open, really nice open tone to it, and it's a fantastic sounding kit. They're you know they the upgrades. We have all new hardware all the way around. So we, with the cymbal stands, the bass drum pedals, hi hat pedals, everything is everything is redesigned for this year, and we've managed to keep the price point the same. I mean, it's a great turnkey type of system. It's just it's all there. You can get started. It's two boxes and you're out. Yeah, great. It's an, it's an easy sale. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at the uh, Cat Catalina Maple. What's uh, what's going on here? Again, with uh, with keeping with the, uh, the the the, uh, the new features we've added for the year, we've gone again with the center, the same our redesigned tom mount, Remo USA heads, round badges on everything now. As, as we see it, we invented the round badge in the first place, so it's we're laying claim, relaying relaying claim back to that and putting it on everything. Uh, Remo heads, uh, top and bottom, you know, fantastic, versatile kit, nine ninety nine for the seven piece kit with the snare. Um, this kit does really well for us. It's a fantastic sounding kit. Um, guys are using it as main kits. Guys are using them as backup gig kits. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, this kit really covers the gamut. It's, I've seen this kit in more situations than probably any of our other lines. It's a very friendly kit to play. So can you uh, tell us what's going on with the finish there? Is that like a... What kind of finish is that? This is a satin. It's a satin finish. Um, we've gone with the. Uh, this is a satin cherry burst. There are other colors on the wall that we can run through as well. Um, you know the satin finishes. It's a. It's we're continuing that. Continuing that trend. That's been an ongoing trend now for a few years. Um, you can what you can do with it, the versatility of it. It's easy to work with. It's easy to do. Yeah. Um, and it's a very classy looking drum kit, and it, it goes to the, the quality, the long standing Gretsch, the visual aspect of the Gretsch. They've always had great lacquers, always great grain presence in them, and this just carries over into that and continues that tradition. <laughs> you go there. Okay, All right. Great. So we're talking to Joe now. He's the snare drum guy here at, at Gretsch, and he's going to tell us about some of these cool one of a kind snare drums that you guys have, are uh, working on. Yes. So what we did this year is we got together with our factory in Ridgeland, South Carolina. We got together with the Fender Custom Shop and their master builders, and we presented this wall of one-of-a-kind, one-off snare drums for our Wednesday night custom shop event that we held this year. So what you're looking at um, is, is a wide array of materials, um, but basically from the bird's eye maple snare through these two rows down to the catalpa snare, are single ply steam bench shells with um, usually just a very light finishing just so we can really see the characteristics of the wood. They're new woods that um, are new to us that we've never used before. Some things like uh, Osage Orange, Canary Wood, Catalpa, Curly Hickory, Quarter Sawn Sycamore. I mean, these are gorgeous woods. They come from all over the world. Purple Heart's another one. So. Um, it was good. We got our hands on some, some one-of-a-kind shells, and Paul Cooper did a fantastic job finishing them. As we progressed down the wall, one of our dealers on the East Coast, uh, Drum Center of Portsmouth, gave us the idea to build some inside-out snare drums. So, we, so you see here four inside-out snares, and they're literally that. The silver sealer is on the outside with the paper tag. And then if you look inside the drum, you can see the nitron wrap is on, on the inside, the inside. and then the badge is pressed on the inside as well. How does that impact the uh, They're a little brighter because the the nature of the the nitron inside, yeah. but um, you know they still sound like Gretsch drums. They have 30 degree bearing edges and are cast tubes, so they're good sounding drums. More than that, they're just something interesting and kind of off the beaten path. And so presently they're just one of a kind. You're one of a kind. Okay. Yep. There's no plans really to introduce any of these into the line. Um, so what you see next here are six drums starting here and coming down this row that were, we sent them, Paul Cooper built them unfinished, sent them to the Fender Custom Shop in Corona, and Dennis Galusco, one of their master builders, who's also a drummer, relic them for us. So they, they pre-aged the shell, they, they spray the lacquer, they pre-aged the shell, and then they aged the hardware. This is one of a kind, first ever in the industry. Um, nobody's relicking drums right now. Uh, we have the best custom shop in the world that they pioneered this process. And the drums look fantastic. The checking is amazing. 
the way they distressed everything, it's perfect. They sprayed them in classic Fender colors, seafoam green, shell pink, piano black, Gretsch orange, a natural and a vintage white. What so, a cool idea. So, so if someone wanted to buy, are you building these by order? Or if someone wanted to buy these, are you just selling these to shops? Or how does it work? Right now, it's it's still in a very early development stage. Um, we just had these six drums made, and we sold them at the event. So you can find them at Gretsch dealers around the country. All these drums, actually, have been sold. We'll have a link on our website to our Round Badge dealer group, and it'll show each drum and what dealer it went to. But for the future, you know, we just uh, have to work out some things inside the company to uh, make sure the process and everything runs smooth. And we will we will bring some to market. They will be on a custom one-off basis. It's not something that's going to go into major production. You're not going to see a whole run of Black Relic snare drums come out. Each one is going to have its own characteristic and, and vibe and feel to it. Because, um, I mean, if you pick up a snare drum that's 40 or 50 years old, you know, they're never the same. You know, they all age differently. So through that connection with Dennis Galuzga at the custom shop, he introduced us to a gentleman named Ron Thorne, who also is a vendor for the Fender Custom Shop, and he's an inlay artist. So these last four drums you see on the wall here are all custom inlaid by Ron Thorne. Uh, we have a koi fish um, theme over a solid walnut shell. We have a Vegas-themed drum. Is it there's, there's all kinds of materials on here. There's all different color mothers of, mothers of pearls, perloids, turquoise, red coral, agate, bloody jasper, orange spiny oyster, onyx. I mean, the, unbelievable the materials that, that Ron uses and works with. The third one is a, is a skull theme, and then the last one is a solid maple shell with a turning, turning leaf inlay that's actually inlaid an inlaid solid maple shell inlaid with spalted maple and burl maple. So Ron is, is doing things with materials where he's inlaying wood on wood and aluminum and all different things. So look for some more of these in the future, uh, both of these, the, uh, the relics and the inlay stuff. But again, they're not going to go into mass production and you're not going to see right. seven Dozens of these Vegas go, yeah. snare drums. Right. They're all very one-off, thematic, uh, driven by the consumer, you know, and kind of what they want to do. So that's all for our one-off offering. All right. So we're we're looking at some new production drums that uh, Joe's going to describe to us. What's going on? Yeah. So new for this year, we've um, kind of realigned our snare drum offering, and what was known as the full range series of snares, we've now thinned out and kind of broken up to gold series, silver series, artist series. So um, along with the rest of our drum kits, we've made some kind of blanket changes to our entire offering, new badges. So you're going to see new round badges on the drums, also Remo heads. So everything will have a Remo head on it. As far as snare drums, another new, um, new add-on spec is the, is the black nylon snare tape. So you'll see that across the entire line. But gold, silver, and artist. Artist is artist. It's our artist. Um, we have a new Steve Ferroni model in our artist series. It's an aluminum drum, seamless aluminum shell, die-cast tube lug, Remo heads. Aluminum is a, a great um, material for snare drums because it's inherently a little drier, pre-EQ kind of sound, but very dynamic. The buzz rolls are very sensitive, and then you can lay into them, and they, they speak volume. Then your Silver Series, which is kind of uh, like your entryway into Gretsch snare drums. They're um, Remo UT heads, so they don't have USA Remo heads on them. Um, and then the materials are, are, are more um, narrowed down. You know, it's, wood, it's basically only wood drums, and, and they're kind of, not basic, but it's like your kind of entry-level drum. Lower, lower price points, right. Then when we move up to the gold is when Remo USA heads, and now we start to get into some more exotic materials and manufacturing techniques. Like um, we have two new stave drums, so they're 100% maple stave drums at a 599 map. Um, really sits in a nice spot in the market. You know we're we're seeing that a lot of people are staving drums, but they're using all these 
exotic woods yeah. and, and, and these things that, you know, just just way out woods, we realized that there wasn't a solid maple stave drum on the market. So so, you're, you're so, so we have two of them here. They're called our barn board series. One's a weathered whitewash. One's a weathered brown. Okay. Uh, three millimeter triple flange hoops, so they're very strong. This, this one here is our zigzag. It's maple and walnut. And uh, the layers are stacked, and then the way they cut it and stave it together, it forms this this beautiful pattern. And when you look at the inside of the drum, that's a really thick shell. Yeah, it's seven eighths of an inch thick, um, and they're all precision pin fit together staves. That's beautiful. So it makes for a beautiful sound, very strong sound. Um, New for the Silver Series this year, we have two ash drums, uh, six and a half by 14 and a seven by 13. It's a 199, nice add-on snare, ash, beautiful open grain, satin finish. Um, along with the Ferroni, we have another aluminum snare that's new. Again, it's a seamless one mil shell, and it has 13 ply rock maple hoops. Um, it, it's a very cool drum in that we haven't seen a lot of people putting wood hoops on aluminum drums. It has that same characteristic of aluminum that it's very dynamic, very sensitive, but this kind of brings like the next level with the wood hoop. You get a little extra oomph out of it, and the cross stick sound is, is piercing, yeah. piercing. I mean, if you're gonna be playing bossa novas and sambas and cross stick things, this thing is, it's a killer. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very lightweight too, which, it's kind of nice for a change because snare drums have gotten awfully heavy. Especially metal snare Yeah, and this thing is, it, it's deceiving when you grab it, how light it is. And then finally, we've added five new Brooklyn snares to the line. They're chrome over steel. They're two millimeters thick. And there's five sizes, five by 10, six by 12, seven by 13, five and a half by 14, and six and a half by 14. So you're really covering a lot of range. Yeah. So they're chrome over steel, knurled shell, Brooklyn hoop, lightning throw off, Remo heads. And these are the polar opposite of the aluminum drum. They're like boat anchors. I mean, this little five by 10, yeah. it's, you grab it and it like, it pulls you down. But they're very sharp sounding, they're very open, they're, they're really aggressive tones because of, of the steel shell. The kicker is the price points, 249, 259, 279, wow. 279, and 299. 